In one study, a group of people was asked the question, what jobs do you find the creepiest? And guess what the top answer was? It's neither a grave digger nor a mortician, but a clown. And some of you will definitely agree to that. But aren't you curious? Why do most people have such a great fear of clowns? Hi there, welcome to Eventful Insights. Today in this video, we'll be answering a question that perhaps has intrigued you for so long. Where does our fear of clowns come from? If you're one of the people who trembles at the sight of clowns, then this video might be helpful for you. Before we begin, why don't you share this with the others in the comments below? What exactly about clowns makes you scared the most? Now let's begin with a little history about clowns first, shall we? Clowns, known for their amusing acts in circuses and carnivals, haven't always had an innocent image. In medieval times, they had more adult-themed performances, and in the 19th and 20th centuries, some became scary. This darker side led to the development of clown phobia. Clowns have been around since at least 2400 BCE, when short clowns entertained Egyptian pharaohs. In ancient times, these clowns became standard figures at royal courts, making kings, queens, and their groups laugh. Later, during the Middle Ages, they were called court jesters, but still had the job of entertaining royals. These jesters weren't like the clowns we know today. Instead of being kid-friendly, they wore flashy outfits, acted a bit crazy, and made jokes about food, sex, and the monarchy to ensure laughs from their audience. The modern clown, as we recognize them in the 20th and 21st centuries, was mainly shaped by English entertainer Joseph Grimaldi in the early 1800s. Grimaldi, a popular performer in London, sported white face paint with red patches on his cheeks and wore bright, colorful costumes. So how did the clown phobia become more prominent? In 1836, a French clown named Jean-Gaspard de Bureau accidentally killed a boy who had teased him about his clown character, Pierrot. This incident, widely reported, played a role in popularizing the idea of a scary clown. Another contributor to this perception was American clown John Wayne Gacy who, in the 1970s, murdered over 33 young men in Chicago while sometimes dressing as his own clown character, Pogo. But one could say that it is author Stephen King who further solidified the creepy clown image with his 1986 novel It, wherein a demon attacks children in the form of the terrifying clown Pennywise. And you might wonder, was Stephen King personally afraid of clowns? It seems like clowns scare Stephen King just as much as they frighten the rest of us. King mentioned that if he were a sick kid in the hospital and a clown came in to cheer him up, he would be really scared. In a 2013 event with Nicole Schroeder, King explained how he came up with Pennywise in It. He wanted to write a book with all the classic monsters, but he aimed for one creature so terrifying that you'd scream just by looking at it. King thought about what scares children the most, and the answer was clowns. In a 2005 appearance on Late Night with Conan O'Brien, he talked about how kids fear seeing clowns at circuses, describing their faces as dead white, mouths red like they're full of blood, all screaming with huge eyes. And he wondered, what's not to like? Furthermore, Heath Ledger's last role as the Joker in The Dark Knight is a real-life example of a troubled performer ready to sacrifice for entertainment. Art the Clown is the main bad guy in the really gory movies Terrifier, and Terrifier 2, Twisty the Clown was a major villain in the fourth season of American horror story Freak Show and is one of the scariest characters in the series. Even though these clowns might not be as well-known as Pennywise, they're all scary in their own ways. Before we continue, can you share with us in the comments below which fictional clown character are you scared of the most? And if you are interested in watching videos about mysteries, dark stories, and significant events in history, check out the other videos in our channel. Now let's begin unpacking the origin of humans' fear of clowns. 
Many psychologists think that the fear of clowns is partly because it's hard to understand their real emotions just by looking at their faces. Jerry Bubrick, a clinical psychologist who specializes in treating anxious children at the Child Mind Institute, explains, when you can't figure out someone's expression, it's disturbing because we don't know what they're feeling. Are they happy, sad, angry? What to expect or how to react? Neuroscientist Jordan Gaines Lewis, in a Psychology Today blog post, expressed that the clown, with its fixed expression of joy and humor, restricts the emotions we're expected to experience. The clown demands laughter even when we might not feel like laughing. This can make the situation awkward at best and, when combined with the disconcerting vivid familiarity, downright terrifying at worst. Clowns can also be unpredictable and wild, especially for kids. Dr. Bubrick says fear of clowns really starts at a very young age, as young as four or five. It often happens when a child goes to a birthday party and without any warning from parents, they see a strange-looking person in a wig, big shoes, a weird outfit, and a big nose, talking and acting in a strange way. This fear of clowns is eventually known as cholrophobia. Some kids might enjoy it, but others can get really scared because they are suddenly put into a strange situation with no explanation and are expected to like it. Dr. Bubrick mentions that children prone to anxiety can have an even stronger reaction. In fact, according to him, the fear of clowns is one of the most common phobias in children. Even for grown-ups, clowns are believed to unsettle them because they resemble real humans but not entirely, a theory known as the Uncanny Valley, which also applies to mannequins and human-like robots. In a recent study published in the journal Frontiers in Psychology, researchers from the University of South Wales looked at data from a survey involving nearly 1,000 adults from 64 countries. They found that more than half of the participants admitted to feeling some level of fear of clowns or cholrophobia. Around 5% of the respondents claimed to be extremely afraid of clowns, a higher percentage compared to other fears such as heights, animals or enclosed spaces. The study suggests that the exaggerated facial features of clowns and the makeup that conceals emotional signals are the main reasons people find them frightening. Additionally, negative portrayals of clowns in popular culture, like the character Pennywise in Stephen King's It, were also cited as contributing to this fear. Additionally, one of the things that many survey participants found disturbing about clowns is their unpredictable behavior. Clowns might make people laugh, but they often do strange and surprising things, like squirting water or honking horns. This unpredictability can be unsettling, similar to how some people feel about spiders, worrying that a spider might unexpectedly jump on them. The exaggerated features of a clown are unsettling for many too. The large red nose, the bulbous head, and the vibrant neon-colored hair all contribute to this unease. People tend to feel frightened by entities that resemble humans, but not quite, similar to how some find baby dolls, aliens, or robots disturbing. However, there's a distinction between finding something a bit eerie and developing a paralyzing fear as seen in cholrophobia. So, how does this kind of fear come about? Early childhood trauma doesn't appear to be a major cause. According to psychologist Perpetua Neo, it's more likely that a specific event triggered intense fear, creating a strong association between the stimulus, situation, and the fear response. Phobias are always irrational and highly specific. In the case of a fear of clowns, it might have originated from an incident, like a clown surprising someone at the circus. It could be the shock, a loud noise, or any other element of the situation that induced fear. 
Researchers believe that for it to be considered a phobia, the fear of clowns must cause significant distress and disrupt the person's life. Thankfully, they note that in our society, clowns aren't commonly encountered, making it relatively easy to avoid them, or at least not regularly come into contact with them. Rarely does this fear lead to a significant impact on a person's lifestyle or daily activities. Do you think your fear of clowns is something as serious as cholerophobia? Or perhaps it is still manageable enough to watch Stephen King's It? But that's it. Those were the origins of our fear of clowns. Did you learn something new today? Which fact about the fear of clowns did you find the most interesting? Tell us in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video, support us by giving it a like, subscribing to our channel, and turning on the notification bell to get notified of our next videos. Thanks for watching.